Hello, greeting friends. Uh, this is Dr. Deependra. Good evening, everyone. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and interesting because it is one of the most common tumor that we see. What are we going to learn today in this class of osteochondroma? One, what there are different uh, names by which we classify it. A uh, brief about etiopathogenesis the way it presents clinically, the type of radiology and the differentials. Malignant transformation, it's a very important question that is asked again and again. And a brief aspect about the surgical management. So I'll take these topics one by one. So by definition, osteochondroma is actually a benign bone tumor. Generally, it is classified into benign bone tumor which grows as a sessile or pedunculated skeletal outgrowth. So the characteristic is that it's a bone tumor which has a cartilaginous cap over it. So what you see here, you are seeing the bony outgrowth and then there is a layer of cartilage over there but you are not able to see it because cartilage is uh, lucent on x-rays. On MRI, you are able to see it better. Normally, which age group is affected? Commonly, let us first see what are the different names by which it is known. So, I would like to keep it interactive. I've kept, I've kept one assignment also for the students. So, anybody, can you tell me the other names by which we call osteochondroma? Anyone? Sir, exostosis. Wow. Exostosis. Great. Anything else? If if it is multiple? Sir, multiple hereditary exostosis. So, yeah. Hereditary multiple exostosis or? Polyus disease. That is enchondroma. That is not osteochondroma. There is a difference. Enchondroma is what you see the cartilage which is present in the marrow. Exostosis is the bony outgrowth. But good, good attempt. I want if you uh, if you interact more, that will be much more beneficial. Anything else? HME, right? Rohit said correctly. Okay, fine. So, so it is most commonly it is seen in the adolescent age group where it presents as a painless bony overgrowth. Normally, one of the few characteristics, see, you should remember few characteristics when you have to be suspicious of all those things. Generally, these growth are seen during puberty and then they cease to exist. They stop by maturity. I mean, by 17 or 18, after that, they get mature. So this point is very common. I think uh, why I'm saying it because in your practical exam, you're going to get a case of exostosis. Second, in your theory exams, you may get a case of a question paper, a short note or something on exostosis. So if you know the concepts, it's very easy to write about it. You can, you can crack any question. So one thing, benign bone tumor, what is the characteristic? So looking, you see, this is one of the classical radiograph, classical X-ray. There is a bony outgrowth that you see. Where is it outgrowing? Away from the joint line. Away from the, if there is epiphysis, so it grows away from there. It doesn't come like, it doesn't grow like this. Usually it grows in opposite way. So it grows away from the Epiphysis. So these are few characteristics which helps to identify. Second, one of the common characteristics is that the medullary cavity is almost consistent with the medullary cavity of the bone. The connection between this is uh, connected to the bone. So these are some of the uh, character characteristics which helps also to differentiate between other type of cancer like uh, parosteal osteosarcoma, like that. 
so so this is a brief view about the thing and now coming to the nomenclature so how many exostoses are you seeing here single single yeah so the other type is multiple, multiple. yeah so in single is there a difference between what you see in single ones how do they look like one is here the other one is here what is the difference in this between these two exostoses sir one is pedunculated and one is inside Oh, fantastic. So this is called pedunculated when there is a stalk. So this is this is the stalk from which it is attached. And this is called the sessile. 